Run by Tank Corner into the end zone for the touchdown. And the extra point gives Oak Park River Forest this four-point edge here as we get into the second half. Mike Genta advances on the ball, a low line drive kick touched by number 60. Oak Park River Forest, Chris Vasilatis, and then Chris Amon picks up the ball and moves it upfield. Nail at about the 26-yard line where Oak Park River Forest goes to the O. First time out here in the second half. Ball spotted at the 26-yard line. First and 10, Oak Park River Forest. Brian Taylor brings them out. They put Tank Corner in the slot. Then he moves into motion. Pitch back to Corner. Corner cuts it back upfield. Stacked up and stood up at the line of scrimmage after he picks up uh, maybe about a yard on the play, maybe two. Fenske gets the tackle, and he's straightened up corner, I'll tell you. Boom, he got him right now. Picks up about a yard and a half, maybe two on the play. We'll call it second down eight. They bring corner now. Now corner is out again. And Amon, so they put Amon, corner, and also Jim Stringfellow, corner in motion, back toward the play. Brian Taylor sprints out. It's a keeper. Taylor gets upfield, cuts out of a block, and then has enough for the first down. Ball across the 40-yard line. Brian Taylor looking past, then drags the thing down, tucks it, and goes. Ball across the 40 at the 41-yard line. First and 10, Oak Park River Forest. Taylor brings them out. Now they go back to a bit more conventional set with corner ta tacking, tacking the top of the eye. They hand off the ball to Andre Brown. Brown across the line of scrimmage. Picks up a healthy play. Picks up five on the play. Second five. Ball at the 46. Scheidler and Corner, and Scheidler is the ball carrier. Ball at the 48-yard line, third down play coming up for Oak Park. We have an official's timeout here for a moment. Now what we have here is a broken helmet by one of the Glenbard West players, so he gets off the field. Matt Fenske out of the lineup. He has a cut on the forehead, as a matter of fact, is what happened. Brian Taylor with Scheidler and again Brown and Corner. Corner with the ball. Corner looking for running room, gets it, and has enough for the first down as Corner gets into Glenbard West territory. Crosses the 50, is brought down at about the 47, 48 yard line. It's a first and 10 situation for Oak Park River Forest. Nice pickup by Tank Corner. Corner leaving the contest now, going to the sideline. Running back is Devon Hurd along with Scheitler and Brown. Three running backs back there, pitch back to uh, Devon Hurd, and Devon Hurd is going to be tackled for a significant loss on the play as flashing is Matt Jocelyn. Jocelyn gets the tackle on Devon Hurd. He loses about five yards on the play. It'll bring up second down 15 for Oak Park River Forest. 8.34 remaining third quarter. Ball back into Oak Park River Forest territory at the 49. Fenske tries to get back on the field after getting repaired here on the sidelines, but doesn't get back in time. Oak Park River Forest, corner with the ball, turns the corner, moves across the 50-yard line to about the 47. I'm telling you, I'll get the 
getting close to where this sequence started. And third and actually close to about 11 yards to go for a first down for Oak Park River Forest. Passing situation for Oak Park River Forest. Every time out this afternoon, Brian Taylor has been long on his passes to his teammates. Taylor barks the signal. Full house backfield as Taylor stops, pumps, gets it downfield, has a man out here all by himself and just overthrown. Fourth down and 11. Snyder is the kicker. Snyder kicks the ball. A good over end, end over end punt. It'll take an Oak Park River Forest roll. Rolls inside the 15 yard line. It'll be down at the 10 yard line. First and 10 at the 10 for Glenbard West. They're down by four with 7.25 remaining here in the third quarter. Rob Harbour gets out on the field for Glenbard West and gets to his teammates in the end zone as the clock winds with seven minutes and 21 seconds remaining third quarter. Oak Park River Forest defense has really played stiff after the first sequence in the first quarter. They have really been pushing Glenbard West off the ball here. Harbour hands off, first man through the hole. It looks like it may have been Salyers. Salyers on the carry. Take that back. Correction, that's Vondrak with the carry. Pickup of uh, four on the play. We'll call it second down six. Bondrack and Salyers in the backfield behind Rob Harbour. Pitch back to Salyers. Salyers is stacked up by number 53 and kind of tossed to the ground unceremoniously by Jim Ariola. We have a flag on the play. And they're saying a mouth guard. So that would be an unsportsmanlike conduct call. So Harbor gets the call for not having his Rob, Rob Harbor gets the call for not having his mouth guard in place. Now the Huskies trying to make the decision as to whether they're going to do on taking the penalty or not. It looks like they're going to refuse the penalty as it looks over to the far sideline that the coaching staff is saying no, let's not take it. Penalty is refused. It'll bring up a third down situation, five yards to go for a first down. And ball is at the 15. Oak Park River Forest looking to hold here on this and force the punt by Harbor. Harbor sprints out on the quarterback keeper. He's tripped up just across the line of scrimmage. He tries to scramble along the ground, but he was tackled at about the 16-yard line. It'll set up a fourth down situation, fourth down and three yards to go for a first down for Glenbard West. We'll have to see Harbor punting again. And Harbor again tosses off that shoe that he wears when he's on the field playing a quarterback, changes the shoe, ties it, and gets it before the snap for punt comes. Five minutes and 38 seconds here in the third quarter. High snap, Harbor corrals it, gets the punt off, a high punt. It'll come down right at midfield, bounces. Chris Amon looks like he's going to touch it and then backs out of the way as the ball will come down and be downed at the 40-yard line. Chris Amon, if he had grabbed the ball, would have been absolutely annihilated by the downfield coverage by Glenbard West. Good decision by Amon to back off the ball and get away from it. Ball is spotted squarely at the 40-yard line where Oak Park River Forest will go back at it offensively once again. They're leading by four, seven to three. Chris Taylor, excuse me, Chris Taylor, Brian Taylor tripped up at the 40-yard line. Picks up about the length of a football. No, loses about the length of a football, actually. I looked up at the scoreboard. All of a sudden, it was 43-7 to 7 in favor of uh, Glenbard West. And I was like, whoa, what happened here? 
Was there something I missed? <laughs> Brian Taylor hands off to Scheidler. It's Scheidler moves downfield. He picks up about maybe two yards on the play. It'll set up a third down, seven yards to go for a first down for uh, Oak Park. Now well, let's call it third and eight now after the spot. Third and eight. Thought we might have had a face mask there against Scheidler as he was going down. It looked like somebody reached a hand in, but we uh, didn't see the call. Kay Taylor spins, hands off to Tank. Corner, corner, cuts back across the 45-yard line, gets it to the 47-yard line. Landry with the tackle. And it'll be a fourth down situation confronting the uh, Huskies of Oak Park River Forest. And we'll see Murray into punt. Jim Snyder, excuse me, Jim Snyder dropping back to punt. Snyder takes the snap, gets the ball airborne. Strong kick, comes back to about the 25-yard line and stacked immediately after he gets the ball. Freddie Capel gets nailed right away. Ball at the 26-yard line. First and 10, Glenbard West. So now these teams exchanging the ball. Three yards a punt. I mean, three downs a punt, three downs a punt. And I'll tell you right now, this is shaping up into one of those games where an error on either side will probably seal the fate for the other team. Just the way the ball, the way the, go, the game is going right now. Rob Harbour flips his running backs behind him a little bit. Now gets it, and there's going to be a delay of game penalty call against Glenbard West as that little flirtation there with getting the setup of the running backs cost them enough time to run them over the allotted time. It moves the ball back five yards. Second, first down, 15 yards to go for a first down. Ball at the 21. Harbor was looking to flip his running backs behind him uh, in the set. Vondrak and Salyers. And again, they can't decide what they're doing as far as the placement is. Now they get it set. Harbor, option. option. He gets it around the outside, but he's going to be stacked up for a short gain on the play. As Oak Park River Forest strung it out very well and had the uh, running backs contained, Harbor kept the ball a good decision by Harbor Genta into the lineup replacing Capel two minutes and 30 seconds here in the third quarter remaining Glenbard West looking at a second down about uh, 14 yards to go for a first down Harbor goes back to pass long upfield near sideline the intended receiver was Genta Genta and we have a personal foul being called against Oak Park River Forest perhaps I don't know we'll have to see because we turned away from the play to see what was happening downfield Flag on the play. And it is against Oak Park River Forest. It'll be an automatic first down, and the ball moves out across the 35-yard line to the 38. First and 10, Glenbard West. It was roughing the passer against Oak Park River Forest. So somebody hit Harbor just a little bit late after the pass was gone. Play shuttled in. Salyers moves out of the lineup for Glenbard West. As Matt Jocelyn comes into the lineup for the Hilltoppers. Eric Wetzel split, split near side. Harbor goes back to pass, then runs out of the pocket. Harbor running upfield, gets across the 45 yard line. And he's going to spot the ball, have the ball spotted just outside of the 45. It'll bring up a second down, and we'll call it three, pick up of seven on the play. And it looked like he was running a lot longer than seven yards, but when you go back to pass like that, you have to add all that distance. 
of course. A minute 40 and counting third quarter. They hand. And we have a, another flag down on the play. Bondrek was the ball carrier. We're trying to decipher all this happening here. Personal foul. Face mask call against Oak Park River Forest. That'll bring another first down into the column for, Oak, uh, for Glenbard West. Costly penalty because they had the play stopped up and it would have been third down and three for the Hilltoppers. As it is, it'll be a first down situation as the ball moves downfield all the way into Oak Park River Forest territory at the 39-yard line, first and 10 at the 39. So Glenbard West being the beneficiary of a lot of penalties here in this, in this sequence by Oak Park River Forest. Out of the game, Massillon Boyd for Oak Park River Forest. And I think he was the young man that may have been whistled on that face masking call. Harbor brings him out. He's got Jocelyn in the backfield, pass downfield. It's incomplete. The intended receiver is Kevin Zeng. Zeng had the ball, but when he hit the ground at the 25-yard line, the ball popped out. It stops the clock with 107 in the third quarter. Ball at the 39-yard line. Second down, 10 for Glenbard West. Zeng was out there all by himself. He found a hole in the coverage, and Harbor got the ball to him. Zeng just wasn't able to hand, hand, hang on to the ball when he hit the ground. Option play by Harbor. Harbor is tackled as he tries to make the corner by Jim Ariola. Ariola playing stiff defense there for the Huskies. Gains about a yard, maybe a half yard. We'll call it third down nine for Glenbard West. 48 seconds and counting, third quarter. Genta into the lineup for the Hilltoppers. Hilltoppers going really close to a delay of game penalty here if they don't get this one lined up and crank it off. Jocelyn and Vondrak, the uh, running backs behind Harbor. Harbor goes back to pass, drops. It's a quarterback draw, and he falls. And he falls short of the 40-yard line. As a matter of fact, he falls to the turf at the 41. He tried to kind of cut to a hole and slipped. His feet fell out from underneath him. The quarter is winding down with six seconds remaining on the clock. This will be the final situation here in the third quarter. We'll have one quarter remaining here on Centel Cable Sports coverage of Glenbard football. And the host Hilltoppers are down by four, seven to three to Oak Park River Forest. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this. There's one thing that makes MTV's new fall season different from the other new fall seasons. It starts in the fall. The others start much later. So while we're showing brand new specials like Lennon Remembers, A Little Bit of Soul, U2's Rattle and Hummathon, and Bon Jovi's New Jersey Weekend, they'll be showing reruns of shows that were old the first time around. MTV's new fall season. It's new, it's different, it's on time. We're going to see Rob Harbor punt here. At least that's what we're anticipating. If they're able to pull off a 12-yard gain on a, on a fourth down fake punt situation, that'll be something else, and you'd write that one down in your keeper. Oh, yeah. But I don't think so. Clock is reloaded with 12 as we're getting set to start the fourth quarter. Harbor, shoe is changed. Nobody back deep now. The Oak Park River Forest team peels off. The punt will come down as it's taken by Jay Gardiner. Gardiner goes to the 35-yard line, excuse me, 25-yard line where he's tackled and down for the uh, Oak Park River Forest. Tim Elliott with the tackle for Glenbard West. The ball is at the 25, just outside the 25. So call it the 26. And it's a first and 10 situation for Oak Park River Forest. Looks like there's a new offensive center in there for Oak Park River Forest, Mike Marino. Brian Taylor, hands off. And the running back, Scheidler. 
Gets the ball to the 30-yard line. So pick up about uh, four, four and a half. So we'll call it second and five yards, maybe six. The famous long five. 11-11 in the game. Bryant Taylor, the quarterback for Oak Park River Forest. Quarterback keeper as they had the three running backs out there in front of the play. But uh, Jason Barabas, along with uh, Vaughn Fowler and Matt Fenske, stack it up for Glenbard West. Don't, don't, ta don't allow Taylor to break the corner. It's a third down situation. Third down, five yards to go for a first down. Mark Register leaves the game for Oak Park. 10.30 and counting. Oak Park River Forest with a 7-3 lead and the ball here in the fourth quarter. Motion man is Andre Brown. Hand off to Tank Corner. Corner is going to be stacked up after he picks up a yard on the play. It's a fourth down and three yards to go situation for Oak Park River Forest. Bondrack with the tackle on Tank Corner. Taylor leaves the game as... The punter comes in. Jimmy Murray will be back to punt for Oak Park. Murray takes the ball, gets the kick off. A low spiraling line drive kind of kick. And the ball comes down at about the 38-yard line. Freddie Capel takes the ball, advances it to about the 41, where it's first and 10 for the Hilltoppers. So Hilltopper is kind of winning that field position battle here with the punts going back and forth, at least at this moment. Nine minutes and 38 seconds on the clock here remaining in the game. Rob Harbour brings them out. Salyers and Bondrack, the running backs. Hand off to uh, Vondrack. Bondrack. Moves up near the 45-yard line. The ball will be spotted at the 44. Picks up three on the play. Vondrack with the call, with the carry. Freddie Capel comes out of the game as the play is shuttled in from the sideline. Second down play. Second and uh, six to go for Glenbard West. Harbour goes back to pass, has protection, hit as he throws, gets, gets the ball to Kevin Zeng. Ball is at the 42 of Oak Park River Forest where it's a first down for Glenbard West. And Harbour connects with Zeng. Scott Landry comes out of the game with a leg cramp. Leaves a hole on that line. They put Freddie Capel in motion. Quarterback keeper, flag down on the play. Capel on the keeper. Harbor on the quarterback keeper. Capel was in motion, and they're calling a motion penalty against Glenbard West. They confer with the Oak Park River Forest captain. Illegal motion called on Mike Vondrack in that situation. Moves the ball back five yards. Ball goes outside the 45-yard line at the 46. First down and 15 for Glenbard West. This sets up a disturbing pattern that the Hilltoppers had in the second quarter. We're on first down plays. They were moving backwards instead of forward. Harbor hands off. No, play action pass. Harbor sets up the pass, gets it downfield. And over the outstretched hands. Over the hands of Mark Casson, the intended receiver, near sideline. Double coverage as Harbor was throwing into that situation. Second down, 15 yards to go for Glenbard West. Freddie Capel into the lineup. Gives Harbor the play from the sideline. Clock stops with 7.57. 
Barabas gets over the ball at center. Harbor puts Capel in motion, tosses back to Salyers. Salyers looks inside, and tackle on the play made by Eric Fryer. Eric Fry, rather. Balk is spotted at the 45-yard line. And basically, you're looking at third and 15. Short, short gain on the play. Maybe the length of a football, again, as Oak Park River Forest defensively is really stiffening here in this sequence. So far, this second half has been a 20 to 20 kind of half, 20 yard line to 20 yard line. That's what we mean. <laughs> Harper goes back to pass, forced out of the pocket. He's going to be pursued out of the pocket by Oak Park River Forest. He throws the ball and it is incomplete as Harper was flushed by Jim Ariola. Brings up a fourth down and 15 yards to go for Glenbard West. Clock stops at 7.07, remaining in the game. Harbor is going to go back to punt once again with Chris Amon back deep for Glenbard, uh, for Oak Park River Forest. Harbor gets the ball, gets the kick off. Flag on the play as Harbor went down after the punt. They'll call it roughing the kicker. And Glenbard West will get a first down situation out of this one. It was an unintentional uh, hit on the, on the punter. Ball moves all the way up to the 30 yard line. And they gave him 15 yards on the penalty. And I gotta tell you that it, um, the player that hit Harbor was rolling on the ground for a long time before he hit him. I don't think it was a situation where it was really trying to go after him like that. I mean, going for him, they were going for the ball. Glenbard West, the beneficiary of the penalty now with a first and 10 at the 30. Harbor keeps the ball, moves upfield, breaks off the line. He's dragging a couple of players with him. As Rob Harbor moves across the 25 yard line. Harbor picks up six on the play. Call it second down, four to go. Genta and Capel into the lineup. Clock is rolling with 6.36 in the game. Keith Salyers comes out. So if you're Oak Park River Forest, you want to stiffen up and hold here. If you're Glenbard West, of course, you want to make it toward that end zone. Harbor hands off to Genta. Genta tackled as he hits the line of scrimmage. Jim Snyder with the tackle. No gain on the play. Gain of a yard, third down and three. Now well, they give him a yard now, so okay, we'll go along with the third down and three. Third down situation, crucial, crucial conversion needed here on third down by Glenbard West. It'll be a long, long field goal. Flag, all right. Flag on the play, and what is it, delay of game? Delay of game. Against Glenbard West, that'll move it back five yards. It'll set up a third down and eight yards to go for a first down. Glenbard West seems a little uh, out of sync here right now. It, 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 this late in the season, you wouldn't see these kinds of, you wouldn't think that you would see these kinds of penalties. Now well, sets up uh, perhaps a passing situation for Rob Harbor. 538 as the clock has been stopped on the penalty. Deuce backfield for Glenbard West, Harbor, and Oak Park River Forest jumps offside as Joe Abarino crosses the neutral zone and now they'll move it back five yards. So now we're back to where we were. Third down and three.
And the fans exhorting both teams here at Dushan Field. Too many men on the field, and we're going to have to have a timeout burned by Glenn Bard West. Late in the game, 538. And as the coaches want to talk about it, a lot of confusion on that Glenn Bard West sideline right now. We'll come back after this timeout with more of this contest. It's Centel Cable Sports, Glenn Bard Football. Aren't you tired of music video shows that just don't play what you want? Whoa! Then check out Nick Rocks, the only music video show that plays your requests. The hottest hits, the coolest stars, countdowns, house parties, and whatever else you want. Because on Nick Rocks, if you want it, we'll play it. Baby, I love you. Baby. Hey, who requested that? Whoa! It's Nick Rocks, only on Nickelodeon, the only music video show that's really got what you want. Glenbard West seemed to have a little bit of trouble there trying to make sure what people they wanted in in the situation on a third down and three. They had to call and burn the timeout late in the game. Five minutes, 38 seconds remaining in a tight ball game. Seven to three in favor of Oak Park River Forest. Timeout is just about over. Yes. Coach Covert leaves the field for Glenbard West. Clock will stay where it's at. We've had back-to-back -back penalties here. A delay of game and then an offside penalty. Moving the ball back and forth and we just in that situation where it's third down and three. Pitch back to Salyers, the ball carrier. No, it's Bondrack. Bondrack is the ball carrier and he's going to be stacked up at the 20 yard line. It looks to be short of the first down. They call it at the 21 yard line where he's downed. They'll bring up a fourth down and a long one, maybe close to two yards to go for a first down. Ball will have to cross the 20 yard line. Ball at the 21. And the clock rolling at 5.05. Harbor brings him up to the line for Glenn Bard West. The situation where he's got to try and get the first down. Harbor on the keeper. And Harbor appears to have enough for the first down it is. First down, Glenn Bard West. As Rob Harbor forces his way across the 20 yard line to the 19. It's first and 10 Hilltoppers at the 19. Clock rolling with 4.50 in the contest. They got the play call now. Harbor brings them to the line. Harbor takes the snap, pitches back to Salyers. Salyers with a couple of blockers out front. Salyers hops over one man down at about the 11-yard uh, line. We'll see where they make the spot. Spotted at the 12. Pick up of seven on the play. Second down three coming up for Glenbard West. 4, 10, and counting. And you can hear the fans exhorting the Glenbard West Hilltoppers here. Bondrack and Salyers, the running backs. Hand off to Bondrack. Bondrack gets a loss across the line of scrimmage. Spinning, turning, squirming across the 10-yard line. Looks close to a first down. They're going to have to measure. Stop the clock with 3.47. Glenbard West asserting itself now in this drive. They've had some trouble up until now moving the ball. But not this time around. Of course, they did have themselves a bit of a problem with penalties as far as the Huskies of Oak Park River Forest are concerned. Yeah, significant yardage was gained on a roughing the passer penalty, a running into the kicker penalty, a face masking penalty. So mistakes, and we were saying that it would be mistakes that would cause the situation. 335 and counting. Harbor takes the snap, hands off to Vondrack. Vondrack, the ball carrier, across the five yard line. Four-yard line is where the ball is placed with three minutes and 14 seconds and counting. 
Freddie Capel brings in the play from the sideline. Harbor brings him out for Glenbard West. Joslin and Vondrak, the running backs, hand off to Vondrak into the end zone. No, short of the end, short of the goal line. He'll be down at the one foot line. He's about a foot away from the goal line. Third down, third and goal. It's a third down situation for Glenbard West, third and goal. Clock rolls with two minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the game. Harbor advances to the ball. Barabas fires out. They hand off and over the left side. It's a touchdown by Bondrak or perhaps Joslin. We'll see who the running back is when they spun pile there. Touchdown, Glenbard West. They move out on top now, nine to seven, over Oak Park River Forest. And Genta in to attempt the extra point. Bondrak on the score. Two minutes and 11 seconds remaining here in the contest. Genta set for the extra point. Snap is low, it's no good. Harper goes back and he's gonna be tackled. And uh, the ball, is, the attempt for extra point is no good. It wasn't Harbor on the snap though. It was the reserve quarterback in taking the snap. There are two minutes and 11 seconds remaining. This is turning into a real barn burner after kind of a yawner early in the second half. We'll be back with the kickoff right after this on Centel Cable Sports. TNN continues its American Music Festival with Ricky Nelson. <laughs> That's Domino. Together, in concert, Ricky Nelson and Fats Domino, live from the Universal Amphitheater. Monday, November 14th at 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific on TNN. Mike Genta ready to kick off for Glenbard West after the score, but they do not convert the extra point as the snap from center was not good. Genta advances on the ball. Low line drive punt. Picked up by Chris Amon. Amon gets it back to Tank Corner. Corner upfield and tackled by the West Hilltoppers as he crosses the 30-yard line. Ball at the 31 with two minutes and five seconds remaining in the contest. And Glenbard West on top by two, nine to seven. Last year, this game ended up a 20 to seven victory for Oak Park River Forest. Now the ball is spotted at the 32, maybe closer to the 33-yard line. Oak Park River Forest has to call a timeout as they're not real sure of the people they have on the field. Oak Park River Forest calls a timeout as they need to find out exactly who they have on the field and if they have the people they want. Bondrak just got the touchdown to put the uh, Hilltoppers out on top. With a minute and 55 seconds remaining, this game is winding down and all kinds of stuff going on here as the coaching wheels are turning on both sides. 155 and the clock is stopped by the timeout. Nine to seven is our score in favor of Glenbard West. And I'll tell you with the kind of leg that the kicker for Oak Park River Forest has, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to, uh, that uh, they try a fairly long field goal. The wind, which was blowing and gusting early in the second half, has now appears to have died down significantly. It's almost calm out there right now. The defense being exhorted. Motion shown by number 82, Sean Gould. Taylor goes back to pass, rolls out, gets it downfield, Gould with the ball, and just as he gets it, he's hit, and the pass is broken up at midfield. Bondrak breaks up the pass play. Also in the coverage is Mike Cozy for Glenbard West. Sets up a second down 10. 
149, the clock has stopped. Fourth and final quarter. Taylor has them out. Lone set back, two men in the wings, and a pair of receivers out. Taylor goes to the air, gets the pass out, intended for number 38, Jim Stringfellow. Salyers tips it away at the last second. Incomplete pass, burns five seconds, a minute 44, and, count, and the clock stops with a third down and 10 coming up for Oak Park River Forest. Critical third down situation for Oak Park River Forest fans. Oak Park River Forest have been moving the ball very well on the ground, now have gone away from it. They stack three receivers far side with a lone setback. That is uh, Scheidler, rather. Taylor goes back to pass. He has the receiver just at the first down mark, and they'll stop the clock as Fleming is the receiver. Ryan Fleming gets enough for a first down for Oak Park River Forest. They call a quick huddle as the clock is stopped at the moment at a minute 37. They'll move the sticks and then roll the clock. And it rolls at 136. Taylor gets the play from Varick Kamen, who comes into the game. Also into the contest, number 22, Elmer Vinson. Oak Park River Forest at the 43-yard line, their own 43. Taylor goes back to pass. Vaughn Fowler gets in, dumps off the pass. It's intercepted by Matt Joslin as Taylor tried to push the ball up to number 87, Andre Brown. Uh, excuse me, number 37 was the intended receiver, Rod Scheitler. And that could tap City in here for Oak Park River Forest, to be honest with you. A minute, eight seconds left. And the Hilltoppers of Glenbard West get the ball first and 10 at the 49-yard line of Oak Park River Forest. Costly, costly mistake by Taylor. Should have eaten the ball. He tried to force it downfield. Matt Jocelyn, alert, gets the ball for the interception. And we're going to have a delay of game called against Glenbard West as the clock winds to 42 seconds. Moves the ball back five yards at the 46-yard line. First down, 15 yards to go. Yardage doesn't matter. Fans starting to file out of the stands over on the far sideline with 42 seconds remaining. Harbor brings out the, uh, the uh, Hilltopper offense. Hand off to Vondrak. Vondrak breaks into the clear and drags three or four Oak Park River Forest tacklers with him to the 45-yard line. 33 seconds. The clock is stopped. A timeout by Oak Park River Forest. So now Oak Park River Forest stops the clock to try and preserve some of the time. What they really need here in this situation is a turnover, a fumble or something like that. But I don't know if we're going to see that situation. I would think that we may see Rob Harbor keeping the ball here on the next play. Time and the timeout situation all seem to be in the favor of the Glenbard West Hilltoppers. Harbor keeps the ball, burns some time off the clock, and depending on where they start the 25-second count, it looks like the game might be over, and Glenbard West may only have to run one more play here, possibly two. Oak Park River Forest has a timeout remaining. 9-7 to seven our score, a tight, tight defensive kind of football game here this afternoon at Dushan Field. The skies are starting to get a little gray now on this fall afternoon, and it's gray on the sidelines for Oak Park River Forest as they were leading 7-3 to three, but weren't at, able to do anything offensively. They hand off to Vondrak, and I'll tell you right now, that'll probably be the contest, and we have a penalty flag thrown after the play is over. 
flag is thrown in the area where Jeff Nickel and uh, one of the players from uh, Oak Park River Forest, it looked like Jim Snyder, were kind of yeah yeah at each other. 26 seconds remaining on the stadium clock. Officials confer about the penalty. Could be one of those things where it's offsetting. We'll see here in a moment. Dead ball foul. Personal foul against Glenbard West. Moves the ball way back to the 44-yard line. It's a second down situation, but for Glenbard West, if the clock rolls after this penalty call, they'll be able to wind it down to about maybe one second. Let's see. Clock is rolling. And they'll probably just stay in the huddle and take the delay of game penalty. We'll see now, as the clock continues to wind, it's at 10 seconds. Clock stops on the timeout called by Oak Park River Forest. Oak Park timeout. Oak Park calls timeout. With the 11 seconds remaining on the stadium clock, and I'll tell you what, we'll just take it and leave it right here. As everybody is getting anxious here in the stands and the press box for Glenbard West. Nine to seven is the score, and this will be the uh, final here, I'm sure of it. We're just going to have to take and run out the rest of this thing. All it was, timeout, was to stop the clock and keep it from winding down and going to the end here. Eleven seconds on the stadium clock. You see the Glenbard West Hilltopper is a huddle to their left at the line of scrimmage. It's the Oak Park River Forest defensive unit, who for the most part played very well here in the second half, except for the one drive where they had the critical, critical penalties. There was a roughing the kicker penalty, a roughing the passer penalty, a face masking penalty. All of those gave 45 yards of field to the Hilltoppers. Harbor takes the snap, drops to his knees, and that will be the end of the contest because Oak Park River Forest is out of timeouts. Glenbard West ties with York for the West Suburban Silver Conference title this year. And that's the end of our contest as the Hilltoppers flood the field and celebrate their victory over Oak Park River Forest, 9-7 to seven here at Duchon Field this afternoon. The Hilltoppers will move into playoff action. This is being taped on Saturday. This will be the following Wednesday, so 